Find the reactions at the wall. Assume the distance between the wall and A is 0.2 meters. The first thing you have to do is draw the free body diagram. In this case, point A is not actually of use to you. All you really want to know is what's happening at the wall. So we have some wall X, some wall Y, and some moment at the wall. Remember, a wall gives you two forces and a moment because it resists moving both right and left, up and down, and turning. We also have this 5 kilonewton load, which I'm going to go ahead and break up into 5 cosine 60 kilonewtons and 5 sine 60 kilonewtons. I can do that because those two forces are absolutely equivalent to the force that I have up here at 5 kilonewtons at 60 degrees to the horizontal. What I can't do, of course, is show them both. Either break it up or put them in, but not both. Now this distance is 1.7 meters, because it's 1.5 meters to point A, but it's 0.2 meters between the wall and A. There's no real point in putting A on your diagram. Now we want to write our equilibrium equations. The sum of the forces in the x direction, we have Wx in the i direction and 5 cosine 60 in the i direction, and those have to be equal to zero. Some of the forces in the y direction equal zero gives you wy plus 5 sine 60. Now remember, the signs here in my equation are based on which direction I drew the arrows in in my free body diagram. So both of my arrows were to the right. When I drew them in the free body diagram, that means they're both either positive or both negative. Both of my arrows here were up, so they're both going to be positive. If you picked different variables in your free body diagram, then you will get different signs in your equations of equilibrium. The sum of the moments, you have to decide where you're going to take the sum of the moments about. I'm going to take the moments about the wall, because if I do that, I've eliminated both Wx and Wy. Since Wx and Wy go through this point at the wall, they do not create a moment there. So the only moments I have left are MW, because that's a moment at the, at the wall that would tend to turn the beam, and I have 5 sine 60 acting at a distance of 1.7 meters. This also tends to turn the beam up and all the way around. So this would be counterclockwise. This is counterclockwise. If they're both counterclockwise, they have the same SIGN sign, so that would be equal to zero. Note, 5 cosine 60, Wx and Wy pass through the point at the wall. So there's no moment at the wall, at our point right here at the wall due to those forces. Now I can solve each of these equations and I have Wx equals negative 2.5 kilonewtons. Wy is equal to negative 4.33 kilonewtons and MA or M wall is equal to minus 7.36 kilonewton meters. Each of these is negative when I solved for them. That means the variables I picked need to be negative to maintain equilibrium. So if I were to redraw my free body diagram, I would have 5, cosine, five sine 60 up, 5 cosine 60 to the right, and then each of these need to be negative. So I would need to have 2.5 kilonewtons to the right, 4.33 kilonewtons down, and 7.36 kilonewton meters clockwise to maintain equilibrium. So that would be my free body diagram after I have solved the equations of equilibrium. So you can at this point answer the question. Actions at the wall are 2.5 kilonewtons to the left, 4.33 kilonewtons down, and 7.36 kilonewton meters clockwise. You've got three significant digits, units, and directions. No matter what variables you pick in your free body diagram, your answer at the end needs to be the same as everybody else's.